making a triptych in Lightroom, first of all go and open up Lightroom and open up an image that you have already processed ready for printing. Then you need to make three virtual copies of this image. Go into Photo, Create Virtual Copy, repeat that exercise three times. And then select the first virtual copy that you made. Now go to the right hand column and select the crop tool and then underneath that select the aspect tool. Then you're now going to make, divide this photo into threes, three thirds. First third is on the first virtual copy. You can release that. And then go to the second virtual copy and Make a centre third out of this section using the aspect ratio tool. And then do the same again for the third virtual copy, but in this case you select the right hand third. Again, with these three select, go back to your first virtual copy and then click on the print module and then head down to the page setup button on the bottom left. From here you can select your paper size which can be either your A3 if you choose to print to that size and I'm making for this demonstration we're doing the A4 make sure that it is set to landscape format and click the OK button now end up with this visual in your module Tem Lightroom's template browser and scroll down to select triptych now to continue from here make sure that you're in the right hand column and that single image etc is selected zoom to fill is selected and then in this area down here where our margins are, we can first go to page grid and convert that back to one row and make it three columns. Now go down to cell spacing and I normally select by typing in 5 millimeters or 0.5 centimeters. And we click into there and you can see the grid now happening. The image cell size is first of all deselect keep square and then just drag your height up until it's reached the top and bottom areas. Now we just need to put our margins around here so go back up to margin and for the left margin type in 1. For the right margin Lightroom will automatically set this for you. And then the top margin is 1 and the bottom margin is 1 centimeter. With the margins now set we go back to the film strip across the bottom of your Lightroom screen and shift click in virtual copy 2 and shift click virtual copy 3 and the Lightroom automatically inserts those into the cells for you. We now need to line up the cells, so we we'll use the hand icon on your first cell. You can see that you can move that left or right to position it just where you want it. And do the same with the center cell, and then also with the right hand cell. The object is to get this looking as realistic as possible. That looks to be about right. Just make a few extra adjustments. If you'd like to have a border around each of your cells, go up to the right hand column again and select Stroke Border. Now, just I get rid of the guys there just so I can see the border. And you can set the thickness of this border to whatever you wish. I normally like to be about 0.5. Or 0.5. I also like to grow it back by checking on the color box and then selecting a dark gray. Our triptych is now ready to either center file or to 
print. So let's just move on down the right hand column there till we get to the print job area. And you can select either printer or file. If you have print to printer selected, then you need to check that your DPI ratings and print sharpening and those features are the way you would normally want them. That the profile is set to sRGB and the intent is perceptual. If you want to export to a JPEG file for fine tuning in Photoshop or some other photo print editing program, choose the JPEG file option and just make sure that your JPEG quality is set to 100 and when you're happy with the other settings there like sRGB and perceptual then go down to the print to file button click on there and you will get a dialogue of where to save it for convenience I'm just saving it to the desktop give it a name save button. You can see the progress up here on the top left hand corner where Lightroom is exporting your JPEG file. When that is complete you mm -hmm. just need to go to wherever you've saved it and you'll be able to open it up in your photo editing program. So there it is, just a fairly straightforward method of creating a triptych image in Lightroom.